Hi, I'm Kyle Andrews, and today I'm going to be sharing some tips on how to operate your well site in cold weather. These tips will help you decrease downtime and increase production. So first thing is safety. You want to make sure all exposed skin is covered. Wear gloves, wear a hat, wear a beanie to keep your ears warm. Another thing is when you're working in cold weather and your hands get numb, you can't tell whenever you injure yourself. So make sure you're taking breaks, sitting in your truck with the heater on. When you're operating in cold weather, one of the biggest problems is freezing. So you want to make sure that all your back pressure valves or anything that has a breather plug in it is facing down. It's really simple. You just take a wrench, put it on there and turn it down. That way moisture cannot get in and freeze. If your breather plug is in this orientation like it is on this high pressure control valve, you want to make sure you turn it away from the north wind. That way wind and rain don't get in and cause freezing. Some people choose to inject methanol to prevent freezing. I won't go into all the details, but methanol can eat away certain types of elastomers. So when you're choosing elastomer for your valve, you want to make sure that it's compatible with methanol. Another place that you'll see freezing is at the valve body itself. When you have a large pressure cut across a valve and it's already cold outside, you're going to get freezing. Uh, to prevent that, some people use heat tape, insulation. It's a really messy way of doing it. To repair the valve, you've got to cut all that away and replace it when you're done. A good alternative is the Catco heater. This one is our display model, so it doesn't have a face to it. Uh, but it's easy access. You can get in here, repair the valve, do any kind of maintenance you need to do on it. Uh, and it's a cost-effective way of preventing freezing. Another place that you'll see freezing is in tubing lines. For example, when you're hooking up a treater valve, uh, a lot of people will buy one length of tubing and they'll hook it up to their treater valve and then to the top of their vessel. The problem with this is there's a lot of slack in the line, uh, there's low spots where liquids can collect. And in the summertime, that's not such a big deal, but in the winter, that'll freeze over super easy. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that all your tubing is running downhill and there's no low spots. Thanks for watching, I hope you found these tips helpful. If you put them into place, they're gonna increase production and decrease downtime.